Take your time. <laughs> Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of What Sold on eBay last week. Let's get right into it. So, as you can see here, these are uh, this is my sales dashboard. The last seven days, we have done one thousand one hundred and thirty-four dollars and five cents. Uh, so a decent week. Happy with that. I had some real low days, and then I had a couple of real nice days pop off, as you can see here. Um, you know, a couple of real low days, and then. What was that like August 3rd, August 4th, something like that really popped off. So that helped me out. Um, all right. So the first game here, we have Smuggler's Run on PS2. I've had so much stuff coming in lately. I feel like these videos are going to get a lot less. Uh, I'm not going to know where everything comes from anymore. I used to be able to like everything that sold. I'd be like, this is where I got it. This is when I got it. This is how much I got it for. I'm not sure. Uh, you guys know what I typically pay for games. Uh, $5.99 free ship on Smuggler's Run. This Pepsi hat I've had listed since uh, last last summer, I believe. And um, you know what I pay for hats? Not much. Dollar at the most. So 10 bucks plus shipping. Not too shabby. We got some Star Wars paperbacks. I believe I got these at a thrift store. I just noticed that anytime I see, you know, books of the same author or, you know, all about Star Wars or whatever, um, especially when it's something like Star Wars, I just went ahead and picked them up on a whim. Uh, don't know what I paid, but I'm sure it was like 50 cents or 25 cents a piece, something like that. $10 plus shipping, not too shabby. I think those, again, have been listed since like last summer. Disney Storyteller. It's a Bambi. This is one of those like uh, you put it in and listen to it while you're reading along. Um, see the pictures and hear the re and hear the tape. Read the book. Uh, yeah, sure. There you go. Anyways, uh, $14.99 free ship. Uh, I think I picked that up for a buck. This is a tape recorder. This was actually a throw-in with all of the PlayStation stuff and the Pokemon card pack that I got. If you guys remember that buy, that huge buy for 50 bucks. This was a part of that. So $15 free ship on that. Um, I tested it to see if the little spindles in there would, would rotate, and they did. Uh, so I listed it as working. Um, it, it had like a rattle to it. I didn't even try to clean it up or anything. So... You know, if I get any message about that, I'll probably just refund the person. Uh, Rock Band Xbox 360, $7.99, free ship. We got a, this is actually the PlayStation from the large lot of PlayStation stuff that I had. Um, I could have taken it apart and tried to adjust the eye uh, and stuff like that to see if I could get it to read discs, but I couldn't get it to read discs and I didn't want to mess with it. Uh, sometimes, you know, you can sit there and tinker with stuff like this for an hour and then, you know, uh, still not get it to work. And even if I did, you know, the difference between selling it as is for parts and selling it, uh, you know, used, if it was a more sought after console, I might've put more time into it. Anyways, $9.99 plus shipping for parts not working. NFL Blitz on Sega Dreamcast. I believe this is one of those games that I, I found on the bookshelf in the thrift store, Salvation Army. There was a Sega Dreamcast CD case, which I had never even seen before. And I just picked that up thinking, oh, that just the, just the case is cool to me. Um, and it was full of games, much to my surprise. And uh, they gave it to me for 50 cents because they didn't have a price on it and it was just on the bookshelf. So uh, $17.99 free ship on uh, NFL Blitz. The Zenith Digitaz, the experience, digital TV Turner converter box. So there was something that happened. They like discontinued the old uh, way that TV was broadcasted and then you needed these digital TV tuners. I believe is the story, something like that. I don't know. And for whatever reason, so like everybody has one and a lot of people even have these new, but for whatever reason, the last few weeks, I've been finding a lot of these digital TV tuners um, still like in the box in pretty good condition for like a dollar and uh, also routers. So I've, I've just been picking them up and uh, this one sold for $24.99 free ship. Sydney 2000 Sega Dreamcast, $8.75 free ship. We got Castlevania uh, Lament of Innocence, 1989, free ship. This was uh, one of the games in that big PlayStation buy, I believe. So there were some really good uh, little diamonds in the rough in that in that box. So I was really happy with that purchase. Uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I don't remember where I, I, I... Anytime I see Lego games, I try to pick them up um, because they seem to sell pretty pretty fast and for decent money. Some of them are better than nine bucks, but uh, you know, if you can get them for a buck or whatever, 
it's a decent little sell. This is Whiplash on the Xbox. I actually didn't have the game. This is just the case and the instruction manual. Wow, look at that. They like the rabbit doesn't change position. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, so I was like, well, I could keep this and see if I ever come across the game, but I had never even heard of or seen this game until I came across this case. So I figured, well, I'll just sell the case for some collector out there that has the game that wants a CIB. Uh, and it sold for $5.99 free ship. So I bought this Lego case like early, early, early on whenever I first decided I was going to start buying stuff to sell um, on eBay. And I don't remember what I paid for it, maybe a dollar or two, something like that. Um, it's just a pink Lego like briefcase thing. It's nothing special. I, I don't know. It was listed forever. I recently started a 10% off sale on a lot of my old inventory that's just been sitting around that I want to get rid of. And it sold for $8.99 plus shipping. So happy with that. A uh, Central Tractor Farm and Country hat, embroidered hat. You guys know what I pay for hats. Quarter, 50 cents, dollar at the most usually. Uh, $9.99 plus shipping. I'll pay more than a dollar on a hat, but it, it's got to have like really like I have to see for sure solds usually. Um, and it's got to be brand new, you know, or like something super vintage with a giant big patch that I can tell is going to be like collectible for a name brand or something. Uh, another one of the die casts from the die cast lot. You guys know the story on these. I got these for 15 bucks a pop whenever I bought over 30 of them. So this one sold for $44.95 free ship, the uh, 64 Ford Mustang convertible. A Fallout shirt. This is another thing that was a part of my 10% off sale, which I think is still running. Uh, just on some of my older inventory that I'm trying to clear out. Uh, I normally don't run promotions, uh, sales during Christmas, this close to Christmas, because before you know it, people is going to be... Uh, and a lot of people are saying, well, you know, they might be down this year because of all the craziness going on in the world. And yeah, some people might not be shopping as much as they would have. But then again, you got to think, is Black Friday really going to happen? Are, you know, people really going to be comfortable going out and going to malls and stuff? I think, if anything, I think eBay is going to get hit so hard. eBay and Amazon are going to explode uh, this quarter four. Could be wrong. We'll see. But anyways, yeah, I usually don't run sales this close because, like I said, before you know it, people are going to start shopping for Christmas presents. And uh, But I did on some of my older stuff that wasn't, you know, I wasn't too worried about. And this sold for eleven sixty nine free ship, so... Uh, we had a four NES game, Tiger Heli, Captain Skyhawk, Rad Racer, and Top Secret Episode Galgo 13. I don't know. If I find games that don't have, you know, much individual value, I will lock them up and just try to get rid of them all at once. And these sold for $12.99 plus shipping. This is another thing that was a part of my 10% off sale. Hardee's Rise and Shine Homemade Biscuits. I had never seen, like, a Hardee's uh, mug and this is from 1989, so whenever I saw it, this was early on in my flipping days, I thought it was going to be like, you know, a $40 mug or something like that. I probably paid a quarter. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure I remember this little old lady. She only wanted 10 cents for it. Um, but yeah, didn't get much out of it, but $4.49 plus shipping. So, you know, not bad. Whenever you spent a dime and you get that much out of it, it's not too shabby. You know, of course, eBay takes their cut and everything, but still sale. At least getting that feedback built up, hopefully. Uh, which, by the way, yeah, right here, $5.93. If you guys are buying stuff from my shop, uh, speak of the devil, this Mophie right here, quick charge, $14.99, free ship, went out to a viewer, Charlie Brown, thank you so much, Charlie, I appreciate it, man. Um, also, I forgot to mention one of the first sales, uh, the Smuggler's Run on PS2 and the Vintage Blue Pepsi hat went out to my boy, Mr. Sperry, thank you so much, Brandon, I appreciate it, man, you've been shopping a lot uh, for my store lately, and I really do appreciate that, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, but anyways, uh, as Charlie and Brendan both buy items from me here this week, if you guys do, please don't forget to leave feedback. I am uh, nearing 600 feedback, which is awesome, considering that this account, you know, is basically a year old. Uh, so, you know, almost 600 feedback in 12 months. Uh, it might not sound like much, but on eBay, it takes a long time to build feedback unless you're buying stuff from people because sellers always leave feedback. Uh, but yeah, so... Moving right along, we got the vintage gold yellow Samsonite Montebello 2 makeup travel train case. Uh, I used to pick up stuff like this more often. I still see this, the Samsonite uh, luggage and makeup cases. You see this stuff all the time. Look at the reflection there. You can see all my VHS inventory and stuff. That's kind of funny. 
Um, I see this stuff all the time, and uh, this sat longer than what I wanted to before it sold. I don't remember what I paid for it. Definitely wasn't thirty dollars, so I made some profit. Thirty dollars plus shipping. Um, you know, if you can get this stuff and it's in good shape, it depends on how long you want to sit on stuff. Uh, you know, I got this one because it was in pretty good shape. Um, but again, I don't know. And, and the the funkier colors sell better from my experience. From what I've seen, like yellow and stuff like that is going to sell better than if it's just a black or whatever. Uh, but again, I guess it comes down to your your eBay strategy and depending on, you know, if you've got the space and the time for things to sit or if you need your money back right now, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how much I'll pick these up. Kind of depends on the situation probably. Uh, we got another diecast car here that sold. This one is the 55 Ford Fairlane Crown Victoria. Uh, fun fact, actually, my first vehicle was a 87 Crown Victoria. Uh, so, yeah, kind of cool. But uh, anyways, this guy sold for $49.99. You guys know the story. I got these for $15 a pop. I still got to pay shipping. Shipping is usually $10. Uh, so you're talking, I'm, I'm basically $25 into each one of these cars after shipping, which kind of sucks. Uh, but I've got so many of them, and so a lot of them are pretty good pretty good sales. So it's going to add up. In fact, I think I'm just under the 600 that I paid for all of them uh, as far as getting it back. So $47.99 on the 56 Ford Thunderbird Colonial White. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty, 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 pretty one. Two of those went to the same seller or buyer. I don't remember, but it wasn't a viewer. So Anyways, uh, Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, Lego PS3, $10.99, free ship. Again, I like picking up those Lego games. They sell quick. Um, again, I've been finding all those digitizers and routers and stuff in the box for like a buck. Uh, actually, the uh, Ethernet cable here was not a part of the pickup. I added that because I found three boxes of um, Cat5e these little short like seven foot patch cables or whatever they're called three foot maybe I, I'm not even sure and they're all brand new so you know I had this router I just threw that in and uh, it sold $14.99 free ship so this was actually my girlfriend's box for her uh, uh, rose gold uh, iPhone and uh, I was surprised whenever I looked it up people actually buy iPhone boxes and I'm wondering if it's like people uh, either reselling their their phones or selling bootleg phones. I'm not sure, but if you look on eBay, there's a lot of sale history just with Apple product boxes. Um, I don't know. Or like what fake eBay give or fake uh, YouTube giveaways. They got a stack of boxes in the back of their truck and it's they're all just empty. Um, so this was actually a pickup. I think we got this for like $4 or something like that at the Salvation Army. It was really cool. There's a little light bulb in here and it's just a little projector. And uh, I picked it up. It was the half off sticker price at the Salvation Army. And look at all these slides. So all these are like vintage uh, name brand cartoons. So you can see on here, there's there's Star Trek, there's Yogi Bear, uh, there's Scooby-Doo, there's the Flintstones, there's the Jetsons, there's Bugs Bunny. Uh, just really cool to see. So whenever I got this, it was fun because I love getting stuff like this because I get to play with it, you know. So I opened it up. And uh, the light in there, it was actually like not working. I, I don't remember exactly what I had to do. I might have had to put a new bulb in it or something. I had to tinker with it a little bit, but I got it working. And uh, as you can see here, you know, it was pretty cool to just, like I said, kind of go through some of the slides and stuff like that. And uh, so I took the photos of it working. And the guy that bought it actually messaged me. He's like, hey, I just bought another uh, one of these, you know, like last week. And when I got it, the bulb wasn't included or something like that. And I was like, nope, it's, it's all there. It works. It's included. You're good to go, and uh, yeah, so he purchased it. So, but look at that. This is from 1976. Just super awesome to even like come across something like this, you know, in a in a Salvation Army or something. It's just I I love finding super old vintage cool things like this. And whenever you can buy it for four bucks and sell it for fifty eight, you know, it's a pretty cool feeling too. So that was awesome. Fifty eight forty nine free ship. Uh, we got Crash of the Titans, Sony PS2. This is, again, a, just a case and manual only. This was the old, or maybe, no, there was one other. It was uh, Super Mario, new Super Mario Bros. for Wii, I think. But that game and this game were in that large PlayStation buy, and there wasn't a game inside. It was just the case. So, uh, But I sold it for $6.99. Uh, again, there's a lot of people out there that have just the disc, and they want a CIB. CIB stands for Complete In-Box uh, 
basically with video games it's just the case uh the cover art and the instruction manual some people get anal and it's got to have like the little you know you sometimes you get the little advertisement flyers or fill out a survey or a warranty card or whatever inside them but most people just you know case and manual and game is cib so somebody probably wanted that and i got 6.99 free ship uh these are the oakley's you guys probably saw this if you don't watch the videos that i put up where i uh you know, I just kind of vlog my daily sessions. Make sure you're watching those because I showed these off. Uh, there's a little bit of a, of a story behind it. I won't get too far into it. Uh, but basically, uh, these Oakleys were $3 a piece. And they're brand new Oakley safety glasses. So I paid $6. I listed them. Both of them sold overnight after I listed them uh, for $88.89. So the order total came to... Came to... 177.78, uh, which is pretty awesome, obviously. Free shipping, uh, but it didn't cost me too much to ship it, and I was only $6 into it. So a huge profit there. Very happy with that sale. Uh, Ralph Lauren blazer jacket. This is actually camel hair. Like, on the tag, it shows that it's, like, 100% camel hair or something. It's weird. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys. Maybe? Why is it not? Dad? There we go. Yeah, right there. Okay. There we go. 100% why is it it's zooming the other picture anyways you can see it over here a hundred percent camel hair which is pretty odd didn't know that was a thing but uh, I don't know picked it up for a couple bucks at a yard sale $24.99 plus shipping uh, this is a Wii Fit balance board with a bunch of fitness games and the waist belt for Zumba fitness I got this in that large lot of Wii stuff that I got from my uh, girlfriend's uh, parents and uh, sold it for $74.99 free ship. Now, these Wii balance boards are like super heavy. I think it, I think it cost me 20 bucks to ship that. So uh, with FedEx, not too bad, um, but, you know, shipping on those is going to going to cost you a little bit. Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly, PS2. I think that was another part of the large PlayStation lot. $10.99 free ship. Then this is the Wii uh, from my girlfriend's parents uh, that I bought a big, huge box full of gaming stuff. Uh, $149.99 free ship uh, with some uh, controllers included and stuff and some of the games that didn't have very much individual value. So, Sony PlayStation 3, PS3, Lego, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, $13.99 free ship. This one was actually in really good condition. Some of the other cases were all bust up, but... Again, these Lego games, man, sell like that as long as you have them listed for the right price. Red Dead Redemption PS3, uh, loose, no case or anything. I actually just picked this up, I think, for a quarter uh, last weekend and uh, sold for $7.99, free ship. Gex, if you guys remember this one, this is the one that was scratched up. I had to use the JFJ Easy Jet or JFJ Easy Pro, what's it called? Something like that. My disc resurfacing machine. And uh, resurfaced it, and then the game worked fine. The case had some decent damage. I would have gotten closer to $25, $30 if the case was in better shape. Uh, but even in the shape that it is, I got $21.99 free ship out of it. And that was, again, part of that big PlayStation box uh, buy that I had. The Coca-Cola Football Windbreaker Men's XL Vintage Jacket Red Pullover Long Sleeve, $24.99 free ship. Don't know. This was last summer, but I don't remember how much I would have got it for. I'm sure I didn't pay more than 5 bucks at the most for it, so... Decent little flip there. Uh, Roden and Fields this was actually a find. My girlfriend, there was a a, a shipping, uh, whatever you call them. There's just like those plastic shipping bins. I've got a few of them I take packages over to the post office with every day. And uh, she looked in that, and there was a whole bunch of this Roden and Fields uh, skincare stuff. And uh, she looked up one of them and saw that it was pretty good. And we've done really good on stuff like this in the past. So I asked the lady, I was like, how much for this whole thing? And uh, she was like, well, somebody else asked that. And I told her $4. And we were like, fuck, this dumb didn't take all this for $4, you know? There's a decent amount of stuff in there. And uh, so I, did, I accepted. I didn't even try to haggle, which you guys know with me, I usually haggle. Um, and just this one thing out of there sold for $70, bucks, uh, free ship. So obviously I got my $4 back, made some profit, everything else. I think I listed over $200 worth of cosmetics out of that $4 purchase. So... That was another really good find that I was very happy with. Um, Atari Anthology PS2. I don't remember where this came from. This is actually pretty cool. If you look on the back here, I was pretty surprised. So it says, it says 18 classic arcade games, including Asteroids, Battlezone, Centipede, Missile Command, Tempest, and more. And you would think that would be like the whole game. But then the next thing says 67 Atari 2600 games, including Gravatar, Millipede, Super Breakout, 
video pinball, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it sounds like there's like almost a hundred games, maybe a hundred games on this on this one uh, multi disc or multi game disc. Eighty five. Oh, it says right at the top. Jeez, I really need to learn to pay attention to things. Uh, but I thought that was crazy. Like usually, um, these Atari collection games and stuff on various different consoles. A lot of times, as far as I remember, like the Namco museums and stuff, they would only have like five games, ten at the most. Uh, so I thought eighty five was crazy. Um, didn't really reflect in its price. I was hoping it'd be like a fifty dollar, you know, uh, jewel find or something like that. But uh, ten dollars free shipping and a really pretty reflective uh, front art. But uh, anyways, guys, that'll do it for us. That is what sold last week on eBay. I hope you guys did enjoy. I love you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye!